Welcome to Options and Ideas. For more videos, please press the subscribe button. Today we are going to discuss about topic Stand Up India. What is the concept of Stand Up India? The Stand Up India scheme aims at providing people belonging to the scheduled caste or scheduled tribe or women of the country a loan between 10 lakh rupees to 1 crore rupees based on their requirement. The aim is to promote entrepreneurship among them. Objective the objective of the Stand Up India scheme is to facilitate bank loans between 10 lakh and 1 crore to at least one scheduled caste SC, or scheduled tribe ST, borrower and at least one woman borrower per bank branch for setting up a greenfield enterprise. This enterprise may be in manufacturing, services or the trading sector. In case of non-individual enterprises at least 51% of the shareholding and controlling stake should be held by either an SC, ST or woman entrepreneur. Eligibility 1. SC, ST and or woman entrepreneurs, above 18 years of age. 2. Loans under the scheme is available for only Greenfield project. Greenfield signifies, in this context, the first time venture of the beneficiary in the manufacturing or services or trading sector. 3. In case of non-individual enterprises, 51% of the shareholding and controlling stake should be held by either SC, ST and or women entrepreneur. 4. Borrower should not be in default to any bank, financial institution. Security Besides primary security, the loan may be secured by collateral security or guarantee of credit guarantee fund scheme for Stand Up India loans, CGFSIL, as decided by the banks. Repayment The loan is repayable in 7 years with a maximum moratorium period of 18 months. Working capital Withdrawal of working capital up to 10 lakh, the same may be sanctioned by way of overdraft. Rupee debit card to be issued for convenience of the borrower. Working capital limit above 10 lakh to be sanctioned by way of cash credit limit. Margin money. The scheme envisages 25% margin money which can be provided in convergence with eligible central state schemes. While such schemes can be drawn upon for availing admissible subsidies or for meeting margin money requirements, in all cases, the borrower shall be required to bring in minimum of 10% of the project cost as own contribution. The salient features of the Credit Guarantee Fund Scheme for Stand Up India Loans CGFSIL. Eligibility Stand Up India Loans of over 10 lakh and up to 100 lakh extended by eligible lending institutions to an eligible borrower on or after entering into an agreement with National Credit Guarantee Trustee Company NCGTC. Guarantee Fee Annual Guarantee Fee AGF, of 0.85% fee A, on the credit facility sanctioned, comprising term loan and or working capital facility. Guarantee fee shall be paid up front to the trust by the eligible institution availing of the guarantee and to be shared equally between bank and the borrower. What is the difference between Stand Up India Scheme and Start Up India Scheme? Stand Up India Scheme is intended to support SC, ST, women entrepreneurs to set up a greenfield project through bank branches in India while Start Up India Scheme aims to boost innovative and technology-led enterprises for new, existing enterprises. What will be the other benefits under the Stand Up India Loan Scheme? Apart from linking prospective borrowers to banks for loans, the web portal designed by SIDB for Stand Up India scheme also provides hand-holding support through a network of agencies engaged in training, skill development, mentoring, project report preparation, application filling, work shared, utility support services, subsidy schemes etc. What is the mechanism for identification of the beneficiary under the scheme? The beneficiaries could be walk-in customers for a bank, online applicants or trainees from various government and non-government agencies engaged in providing vocation training, entrepreneurship development programs, financial training etc. Whether housewife, women or SC, ST unemployed eligible for Stand Up India loan schemes, Stand Up India scheme is a special scheme for women entrepreneurs. Therefore, housewife can avail the facilities under the scheme as per your requirements provided the composite loan amount ranges between 10 lakh to 100 lakh. They may approach a bank branch nearest to you for more details or access the Stand Up India portal for more details. Composite loans between 10 lakh to 100 lakh for setting up a greenfield project is eligible for coverage under Stand Up India scheme subject to compliance with other requirements of the bank under the scheme. In case collateral offered by the borrower do he, she need to compulsorily opt for credit guarantee cover for the loan under Stand Up India? No, there is no compulsion for securing the loan only by way of credit guarantee cover. You may opt for securing the loan by way of collateral security also. Please discuss this aspect with your banker. What is the minimum amount for Stand Up India? Stand Up India scheme interest rates, 
interest rate MCLR, base, rate of the bank plus 3% plus tenure premium, minimum and maximum funding 10 lakh rupees minus 1 rupees crore, shareholding criteria minus 51% in the case of non-individual enterprises. What is subsidy under Stand Up India? The net worth of each promoter should not be less than 1.5 times of his, her total equity proposed in the project. Any other structure for the SPV would require the approval of the project approval committee. Amount or percentage of subsidy, the government of India grants up to 40% of the project cost. What is margin in Stand Up India? The scheme envisages 15% margin money which can be provided in convergence with eligible central, state schemes. However, the borrower shall be required to bring in minimum of 10% of the project cost as own contribution. What is MSME scheme benefits? MSMEs can easily get a business loan at a very lower interest rate, up to 1.5% lower than interest on regular business loans. Amazing tax benefits, depending on their business industry, business owners can benefit from the excise exemption scheme. What is the maximum tenure of Stand Up India scheme? The loan is repayable in 7 years with a maximum moratorium period of 18 months. Working capital, working capital limit generally to be sanctioned by way of cash credit limit. However, working capital up to 10 lakh can be sanctioned by way of overdraft facility subject to the delegation of loaning power. Is Stand Up India scheme a collateral free loan? Besides primary security, the loan may be secured by collateral security or guarantee of credit guarantee fund scheme for Stand Up India loans, CGFSIL, as decided by the banks. The loan is repayable in 7 years with a maximum moratorium period of 18 months. What is 30% markup in margin? For example, a 30% markup on a product or service will give you a 23% gross margin, a 43% markup will give you a 30% gross margin and 100% markup gives you a 50% gross margin. What is margin of 75%? The gross profit margin is a measure to show how much of each sales dollar a company keeps after factoring in cost of goods sold. For example, if a company has a gross profit margin of 75%, then for every $1 in sales, the company will keep 75 cents, can margin be 100%? Price, cost, cost, asterisk 100 equals percent markup if the cost of an offer is $1 and you sell it for $2, your markup is 100%, but your profit margin is only 50%. Margins can never be more than 100%, but markups can be 200%, 500%, or 10,000%, depending on the price and the total cost of the offer. Thank you for watching our video. You can contact us on the number given below.